In this tutorial, in Adobe Premiere Elements, we'd like to look at some ways to enhance the appearance of a text tool in a way that you might not expect. We're going to use some tools that oftentimes we don't at first see useful regarding text. We'd like to show you a short example, and then we'll show you a bit about how to construct something like that yourself. So what I have on the screen are two tracks. I have a video track and a music track, and I'd like to add the text. So the text will be in a higher track. Remember, text is always on a video track. So I'm going to click on my text at the very top menu, and then I'm going to choose New Text and Default Text. When I do that, my Adjustments panel opens in the, on the right side, and then I see my text, but barely because it's white on white. To make it much more visible, I'm going to click on the Style tab on the Adjustments and choose a different style that's contrasting to white. And now I can see the text, but it's really tiny. So I'm going to click on my Text tab, and I have a Size option. I'm just going to drag the mouse from left to right across that number, and it should increase it and we'll just keep dragging to the right until I get it much bigger. Now I can go back and change the kind of font I want in my text. Let's take something more rounded here. And now I need to make it smaller again because it's a different kind of text. We'll just keep it about like this. I'm going to click on the color palette and then in the color section under fill, let's change it to a green. Let's change the outline to a stroke in the stroke in the stroke box. We'll change it to black. That doesn't look too bad. I'll click on OK. So now I have some text here. What I'd like to do is move it. Easiest way is to click on the arrow and the mode key and move it around the screen. Now to make it pop I'm going to add a shape behind it. So I click on the shapes tab over in the adjustments panel. I'm going to take the rounded rectangle and click on that. With that highlighted, when I move my mouse, it turns into a plus sign. And now I can take the shape and draw it. Now here again, I'm drawing white on white, so it's going to be hard to see, but we'll change that in a moment. Now with my shape selected, with the right mouse button on top of it, and I'll choose Color Properties. And now we're going to simply change it this to red so we can see it better. And there's my shape. What I'd like to do now is give it the real colors I want it to have. I'm going to go from solid to a linear gradient. And I have two boxes below this slider for the colors of the gradient. Let's make the left one a blue. I'll click there and then move to the blue I want. And the right one will keep it white. Now we can adjust the degree of blue and the degree of white by simply moving one or both of the sliders. We'll make it something like this. Then I want to add a drop shadow. I'll click, click on that box. We start to have a shadow. Define it at the bottom and I'll change the distance of the shadow to make it just visible enough that we can see exactly around it. Now there's a couple other things we need to change. I'm going to click on the OK button. I can't see the text. So with the shape selected, I'll right click again. I'll choose a range and I'll just say send to back. And now the text is in front of the shape. So I can click on the shape and adjust it slightly up and down or widthwise in order to get it perfect with the text. Or I can click on the arrow again on the adjustments panel, click on the text and actually move the text around within the shape. So that's a nice way to use the shape to make the text pop. And then looking at it now, I, I might want it to be a little more blue and a little less white. So I click on it again, and then I'll right click and go back to Color Properties, move my color panel, and we'll move the white over a little bit, make it a little more dominantly blue. And click on OK. So you can adjust this however you like. Now when we play it, 
There's no animation, but it does pop pretty nice. What if I want to animate this a little bit? Now I'm going to click on the title and I'm going to move over to the panel on the right side for my transitions. And here we can actually apply a transition to a text and any shapes associated with it. I'm going to take the curtain option and take and drag it down and drop it on the left end. The default minimum is one second. We can make it more if we want to but one second is adequate here and so I'll click on apply. And then we're going to close our transition panel. I'll render this and now as it plays and you just saw it, it will have a curtain effect on the text as it kind of peels from left to right as I drag the the playhead across it and that gives me a different kind of look at the text. So that's a very interesting way in which you can use two different tools, transitions and shapes, to modify and enhance the look of title text in Adobe Premiere Elements.